Hey, Sean. Hey, Priya. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, I've got, it's the conference month, so, you know, it's trying to get everything done before travel. Yeah. You're heading off to quite a few? Uh, we've got 7x24 next week and then OCP the week after that. And mm -hmm. Some people are going to the regional 7x24 in Atlantic City, so just everyone's somewhere yeah. this month. Yeah. <laughs> data center world in singapore is next week it's like it's like these conferences don't talk to each other yeah um i had to give up several opportunities because it overlapped with ocp yeah i was I was a little disappointed that the regional 7 by 24 is what, what was it the same um but you know maybe next year it'll be different yeah then also the Department of Energy has a few, um, I think, meets and looking at different technologies. I think like uh, one of them was cooling. They got a cooler chips project going on. Nice. And... Good morning, everybody. Let's see. My camera working. My camera's not working for some reason. My camera's oh, working, but I'm, right. I'm fighting with the Italian bureaucracy at the moment, so you don't want to see my face. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll give it a few more minutes. It'll be very early. Looks like we're not going to get a lot of people joining today. How about we get started and finish up early if we can and give, yeah. give ourselves some time back on the calendar. Is that good with everybody? Sounds good. Yes. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I did send out an agenda earlier on and I'm trying to figure out how to share my screen. Does anybody know how to share screens in Zoom? Right bottom middle, I think, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a green, there, there should be a, a green. Oh, there we go. I see, yeah. Very similar to. Green yes. as in uh, um, sustainability. Okay, you should all see my screen. Is it? Yes. Yep. Oh, wait. Just no. lost it. Uh oh. Yeah, we lost it. Okay. How's that? Great. Yeah, that's good. good.
Okay, I did have a few more items after I sent out the uh, agenda. I hope you've all registered for the OCP summit if you are attending. I think uh, Aaron, you might be the only one on this group that may not be at the conference, is that right? Um, yeah, I'm not going, able to attend. Yeah, uh, and I was just complaining how many conferences they are right now in <laughs> going on in <laughs> parallel. And unfortunately, we can't attend all of them. Um, so if you haven't registered, please go ahead and register. And um, you should be able to access the um, all of the videos and stuff once, or, or all of them should be public once uh, OCP publishes them. So. Uh, Aaron, if you want to catch up with anything, you could always go back and take a look at those videos. Um, I did want to get an update from each of the workstream leads. Uh, Steve Lynn said she was not able to make this call. Um, is there anybody from that working group that can provide an update on um, the construction work group? Okay. And I I believe Ewa can't make it either, but Aaron, did you want to provide an update um, on your water heat energy work stream? Sure, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're the work stream is planning to have a presentation for uh, the Global Summit. Uh, it'll be Sean and, and Eva. Um, so when we spent our last uh, work stream meeting on was basically going over the comments that OCP provided on the presentation and adjusting the presentation accordingly. Mm -hmm. And so I, I believe, and, and Sean, you can tell me if I'm incorrect, but I believe we're all done, we're set to go, right? Yeah, it's it's submitted. Eva and I, Eva and I have just been meeting just to align on, you know, how we're gonna split it up and talking points, but we'll be ready. Um, it's it, It's submitted. Great. And Sean, I saw you get back and forth for um, the comment responses. And yeah, I, I wasn't exactly clear on how you were supposed to respond to those comments. So, um, you know, if they ask for it, feel free. If someone reaches out and asks for it, feel free to email that mm -hmm. sheet to them. But other than that, I think um, they can just review your uploaded presentation and see how you responded in that press up. Okay, I, I I agree with your assessment. They were all kind of opinions, but if someone took the time to review it, I just want to make sure that you took the time to respond if that was, you know, required. Uh, yeah. So if he wants follow up, then we can send him that. I just don't have a direct contact for him. Did were you able to see the name of the person that commented? It was uh Eric from Intel. It's his last name. Uh, I, I'd have to look it up, um, but all um, of those comments his were His last from... name is Dalen, D-A-H-L-E-N. Yes, that's correct. I, I do work with him if you want to get to him. Deb, do you have an email address for him that you can Yeah, send yeah, I'll, I will pop it in chat. Sounds okay. good, thank you. Yeah, so Sean, feel free to email those responses directly to him and let him know if he has any follow-up questions. Okay. to reach out to you. Sounds good. Okay, great. Thanks for that, Deb. Um, any other updates, Aaron? Um, uh, I mean, not, not really, just um, that, you know, once we have our next work stream meeting, we'll start focusing a lot more on the uh, the initial white paper. Uh, one thing that, that did happen, and I think it was a good idea from the last i think it, 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 the idea came out of our last work stream meeting is that we're realizing that this is a work stream that could last for a long time because there's lots of great ideas coming out but we need to kind of fence in our first paper so we we have a little uh parking lot of ideas that we're keeping in our google uh drive folder um where the, those ideas will be added um for for later consideration for white papers yeah agree on that because i I think any of these topics, we will never be done <laughs> if there's too many things coming up. So, yeah, great idea.
Thanks for that, um, Aaron. When do you think? I think you have it in your presentation, but uh, when do you think we'd be ready to publish the white paper? I, I, I forget. It was in the it was in the presentation. I think my guess is it'll probably be in early uh, 24 i want to say but maybe that's ambitious um yeah i think it's a draft by the end of this year right i, I believe so so maybe next summer uh, yeah um because then we still have to submit it through the incubation committee get them to accept it the um have a review the, period so yeah. the timeline i guess that we have in the presentation is um first draft by q1 review first draft by q2 um and then q3 paper finalization so it seems like we're kind of targeting to have it done by the next um global summit yes oh, that sounds great, about right yeah that that's a great uh plan because then we can launch the paper and the next steps at the summit yep okay Good job and great progress. Um, Robin, how about you? Pardon me. Uh, we had a good call um, uh, last week. So the presentation said it's very simple, right, for the metrics, sustainability metrics. Um, on the call last week, we covered what um, an outline for the sort of potentially rest of the paper. Uh, so, you know, how do we cover each metric? How do we standardize each section and what we talk about? And, and I think we have a, a good start there. Uh, talked about creating a section on, um, ooh, let me pull it up here, uh, on um, future thoughts. Uh, because we had some stuff that's like, well, this is interesting and stuff. It's like, well, maybe that's a better discussion point. So at the end of the paper, we'll have a, uh, you know, a, um, um, you know other considerations or future thoughts or what have you. Um, our goal is to kind of have, hopefully have most of this draft done by the end of the year. You know, I think this is more, you know, Metrics is a bit more straightforward than uh, than a lot of the other groups, so we're able to to hopefully knock this out. But uh, we did talk about it. it's probably something where we'll need to refresh it, you know, annually. Because as an example, we're going to recommend uh, what metrics for for the um, OCP Ready Facility Program, which me metrics are required to be reported which ones are recommended, which should be internal. And that might evolve, right? As, as the industry gets more sophisticated with regards to reporting, we might make more um, more metrics required. So mm -hmm. you know, I think, uh, again, maybe we'll, we'll finish this paper hopefully early next year, but uh, it should be re reviewed probably annually. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a good plan. Um, one last question, are you tied in? Or have you been getting input from someone on the sustainability track? So I, I've i sat in on, you know, a couple of the meetings they have every Monday. Um, and they are very focused at the IT level. Um, so, you know, kind of a little bit, of, but I mean, they talk a lot about PUE, but it's a, a bit more looking at, you know, sort of T. ITUE type of thing with the efficiency inside the server. So I think we're all good with regards to overlap. We're, you know, high level facility, and then they're kind of digging deeper, I believe, in the um, uh, into the IT. We did make the decision. We had, um, uh, you know, server utilization listed as a metric on ours. And, you know, Deb, thank you for, you know, a couple, whatever, a couple of months ago, I think you sent that article from Uptime on that, which was good with, on the European regulations. So appreciate that. But we decided to remove it because, one, we're very facility focused. Uh, uh, and, you know, this is part of the data center facility uh, recognition program. Uh, so in any event, that also helps remove um, any overlap you might have with those guys. Okay. Um, did they have any interest in 
joining forces and doing one matrix paper between the two teams or <laughs> I don't know. It's, <laughs> not there. I I think we should have a physical face to face at the uh, summit and chat with ever you know, chat with those guys and see. Yeah. Um, that's a great idea. So that brings me to a uh, kind of a separate point. Uh, and I sent you a note on this. One, I think anybody involved in these, you know, we should probably do an informal, like meet at somebody's booth at a certain mm -hmm. time just to say hi and see everybody in person if we can. Um, the other one would be, yeah, let's get face to face and kind of rationalize all the different sustainability work groups and make sure it's sufficient. Yeah, that, that's a good plan. Um, I, I added it to our agenda for this week to discuss. Yeah, meet a specific time. I'm wondering, you know, there's, there's always those tables on the side for having lunch, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, maybe we can. I can send out a note. Maybe we can meet. Um, maybe even one of the days have lunch together. Yeah. Meet over lunch and have a discussion or meet during one of the sessions. Um, so I'll take a look at a schedule. And yeah, just pick one and let it send it out. Yeah. Yeah. Are they yeah. doing, I guess, last year they had like work stream focused lunches, which was just basically like they put a couple of cards on some tables and said like, hey, all the, you know, DCS, ACF, you know, cooling, go here, all the sustainability, go here, all the- Oh, I missed that, really? Go there. Oh, that's good. It, it, it was it was very informal. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, think, I don't have any recollection of that, Sean. But yeah, um, if they do that, then I think we, let me find out. Let me find out if they have work stream related lunches. Uh, and, and, and if we do, we may be part of the broader DCF um, group, so they may not have to, a separate DCF sustainability mm -hmm. lunch. So that would be good, too, because we get to meet the broader facilities team. Yeah. But then also, um, I think we as a team should also meet. <laughs> it would be nice to get together. Uh, and it could even be, you know, they have happy hours in the evening, maybe one of the happy hours. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So I'll I'll send something out. Maybe we, we can figure out where to meet. Uh, just, and then I'll try and set something up with the sustainability team as well, uh, the sustainability track, and see yeah. if we can meet some of those folks as well. I don't. I don't know what everyone else is, but just looking at it, like Tuesday is, there's not much on Tuesday that personally I'm very involved in, or frankly, even interested in because it's so tangential. So I, I don't know if, if I'm just very unique in that, um, or if maybe Tuesday is a good day to meet if everyone's going to be there, because I think it's like not cooling, not sustainability um, from looking at the yeah. schedule. Like, it's like Ethernet and, you know, um, and cloud type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that, yeah, that I, I, have to, I may have to run back to the office on Tuesday afternoon, but I'm sure we can find some time. So I'll take a look at my schedule and see what works. But yeah, you, you were right about Tuesday because I gave someone that time slot as me being available. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm sure, you know, Ethernet, a pass to singularity is very applicable to someone, um, just not personally, myself. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks for that update, Robert. Appreciate it. Yeah. And, um... I, another uh, side topic, and Sean, uh, all this is, Sean brought it up, and I don't know if he brought it up here, but uh, all the work groups, rightly so, are are focused on deliverables. So every work group's like, hey, to, you know, you know, right? You're trying to talk about a general, not a deliverable focused kind of call, but a uh, hey, just a kind of community chat about issues, stuff in general. Uh, I don't know, right? 
thought you, you suggested that when we were chatting. Yeah, it was just an idea, you know. Yeah. Maybe something that's slightly less formal. Um, you know, maybe so, a um, topic of the month and it's just a discussion about it or something like that. I don't know. It, it, I, I thought it was interesting. Can we use this forum to do that? Say again? Can we use this meeting to do that? I mean, I'm, I'm open to, you know, changing up the agenda, bringing different um, topics and, and we can just brainstorm over different topics uh, and then figure out what we're going to do for next steps on those topics too. So uh, I'm completely open. So yeah, yeah. Um, so the, the agenda is open and, sh you know, I'm sure it's, it, it's shareable. Maybe I should move it to the, faci uh, the facilities uh, folder. The, facility sustainability folder where we have all of our docs in there. So, you know, if there's any topics you want to discuss, feel free to go add it to the agenda. I mean, this is this is our agenda. So I think that's a great idea. Okay. And maybe if it's if it's uh, kind of more if it's okay with you. I mean like people have brought up these papers and you know I mean I've worked for companies where we've done like, you know, bi weekly or monthly like journal reviews or like, you know, hey, like let's all read this one and discuss it. You know, book club. Book. It's like a technical book Absolutely. club. Right? Yeah, like something like that. That's not really like you know formal, but like, hey, like Aaron kind of shared that one chapter about you know from that. What was it, Aaron? He's like a Dutch or you know, uh, uh, I think from Denmark. But I'm not positive. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, on kind of water metrics and that, and it was kind of more of like, a, hey, does anyone want to you know maybe just get together for an hour and just discuss that. Um, like no, no real agenda, no, this, you know, very informal, uh, like yeah. bounce ideas off of each other for kind of anything. Um, yeah. And, and Sean, if you want to set up like ad hoc meetings, stuff like that, that mm -hmm. feel free to use this, uh, the, we, we have our own zoom, mm -hmm. uh, link. So feel free to just copy paste it and set up the meeting and, and have it. Um, but okay. yeah. The, the, I think, I think this form would be great to do it in. And we have that email that you can send. Um, you can send a note out to the team. You can link the doc that you want to talk about. And, and we can set aside maybe 20 minutes in this monthly call to do that once a month to, um, you know, have it standing on the agenda to talk about some technical topic. Yeah. Or like, um, you know, for, for this week, I actually put one in here. Because Ralph had said something on nuclear powered uh, campuses in Sweden. I have a link in here. Uh, and I thought we could potentially discuss that. Uh, yes. We could either do it today and give you an opportunity to talk about it today, or we can maybe table it for as a topic of discussion for, for next time. But yeah, I'm totally open to however we want to run this. So, yeah. Okay. No, that's that's great. I just wanted to kind of check with you before, you know, kind of spamming the work group email um, with that. But if it's, you know, and we can even just, you know, bring up a couple topics and we'll pick one, you know, various ones, water, power, carbon, yeah. whatever the topic at hand is. Excellent. Yeah, but SMRs, let's do it when we're finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> ready you ready <laughs> that's good um so um we started collecting questions because last time we talked about questions for utilities aaron thank you for sending questions in so i put them in the stock but if there's any other questions let us know aaron's also got a contact uh, that was pretty close to the utilities a few years back and he's prepared to bring him in to perhaps have this open discussion with the utility. So, um, and then maybe after the summit, we can invite Aaron's guest to the meeting and, and have this open discussion as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll do an email intro. Uh, if he remembers me, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, and uh, see if maybe he'd be interested no, at the time. At the time he was, so we'll see if he still is. Yeah. Okay. And um, then, you know, Deb, go ahead. 
No, no, I, I saw all those questions from Aaron are good. And I, I actually, we, we have a, I was just thinking, we have a sustainability business unit that does a lot of PPAs and things for customers and all that. And I could probably find a good person to be a guest speaker and like speak and then just answer some of these questions that, um, on, on things like that. But. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking like, you know, Google has one, Microsoft has one as well. So, um, so does Meta and Amazon. So if we can yeah. get speakers, if, this, if we have a good list of questions that we could share with the speakers and then invite them to come in, if this is really a topic of interest, then, then I think yeah. let's do that. I would just add, on, at least um, on the first one and, and possibly um, the second one, that right now there is a lot of discussion in the industry. So we've had for a long time under the greenhouse gas protocol, the market-based and the location-based reporting. Are people familiar with those concepts? I, I've got at least one head nod. Yeah. So, yeah. so right now, so the WRI that owns the greenhouse gas protocol opened up for discussion. That um, and there's kind of like two trends. Some companies are very um, interested in 24 by 7 matching, where you're trying to match um, hour and location with the data center energy use. And then there's also this emissions first group um, that is saying, it, you know, let's have a bigger umbrella and not just look at 24 seven, but also look at taking the actions that, that most reduce emissions in the shortest period of time. So the emissions first group does not want to be seen as um, fighting against the 24 seven. There have been some recent papers that tried to put them in conflict with each other. If uh, these, you know, if this type of level of discussion is of interest to folks, I could certainly talk it through. Um, it is part of my job to understand all this, but it looks like you as well, Rob. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, I, I know just uh, uh, enough to get me in trouble, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, you know, when yeah, our, uh, when our sustainability, sustainability guys talk about, you know, is a PPA actually result in net new renewable energy on the grid, right. you know, versus not, which is worth a lot less and think, you know, things like that, which, you know, I knew nothing about, you know, a year ago. So, anyways. Oh. Did we lose Priya? Oh. oh, I think so. Maybe, yeah. I know her audio I, was a little bit uh, yeah, staticky. Yeah. I'm still here, but yeah. Oh, okay. There you are. Uh, I'll just say I'm I'm interested in learning about these as well. This is new to me. Yeah. Uh, the market based, location based, the twenty four seven matching, and the uh, emissions first. So this is I'd, I'd be like I'd like to learn more about that. Yeah. And, and you know we could we could keep maybe um, one or two meetings to discuss that. If we need more meetings uh, to discuss a specific topic, we could set that up too. So uh, just let me know what we want to do. And then we will certainly take you up on on your offer. Yeah, I am um, going to be on a short leave of absence. So if you email me and you don't hear from me in the next month, that it's just that I'm, try me again. In the yeah, November. no worries. <laughs> no worries. Um, it most likely will be November timeframe because we have uh, the summit that everybody's focusing on right now and exactly. I think there's a lot of conferences going on. Yeah. So we will most likely do it sometime in November, maybe early December, we'll be in touch. And then there was the other discussion as well that we needed to, to schedule from, from the last meeting. This is this meeting from the last meeting. 
carbon modeling of semiconductors. I think that's an interesting topic that we don't know much about, but we'd like to learn a little bit more about as well. Yeah, I've got, since I lead the working group on that for OCP, I, you know, I can certainly talk to that. Okay. So we'll schedule those two and we'll give you a break between the two. So um, which topic's more interesting for this team? Is it learning more about the market-based, location-based concepts and 24 by 7 and emissions first versus, uh, I think this would probably be more interesting than the semi semiconductor discussion, right? Yeah. 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 So, so Deb, tentatively, let's, let's try for our November meeting and I'll be in touch and we can work out better scheduling and we can have your, your talk as a presentation and then have an open discussion on that. Okay. Um, the other thing we needed to talk about was uh, kicking off the supply chain work stream. So I think we should do that. Let's wait till after the summit and perhaps think, uh, think about how we want to schedule that. We also need to figure out who's going to be leading that as well. Um, if you folks know anybody who's interested in leading that uh, work stream, let me know and we could potentially kick that out too. Um, okay, I think that is it. Any other topics? Do you guys want to dive into nuclear? Well, Priya, I just, I had one question for you. You made a comment on the, um, the work stream draft, um, about, uh, something about, uh, proposed metrics from the climate neutral data center pack about, uh, potential upcoming metrics for assessing water conservation. Do you have any more information on that? So that is public. Um, I can give you the, the link on the web if you want to see. I was recently in a discussion about it, but I, I don't have a deep understanding myself and I didn't take notes, but I did look at while we were talking about it, I looked at it on the web. Um, so yeah, there was, it, I could just share that link. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in the chat. That'd be good. Will do. Okay. Yeah. And, and what they're using, Sean, is they're looking at, um, location-based. So, so, you know, water is not scarce everywhere. Mm -hmm. Places where it is scarce, then you know we should be credited for using water that's recycled, gray water, etc. As opposed to so so all those things are currently not built into the current WEUE metric that we use. So this was a new metric proposed that factored in all those different. Um, criteria and that formed the final metric if if <laughs> if I can uh, if that provides an explanation of what this new metric is okay yeah I'd just be interested in digging into the specifics because we've talked about you know various metrics that you know water scarcity aware and all of those things um, so I'm just curious what specific you know, submetrics are used for this. Um, okay, yeah, if, if someone has a link to anything specific, I'm on the Climate Neutral Data Center website and I can't find much meat, or, but I may just not be looking in the right place. Deb, there was a paper that they produced, and I was unable to get my hands on that. What, do you know what I'm referring to? Because that outlined, like, you know, the full metric, what they proposed, and the methodology, etc. Exactly. So I, I am looking for that. My bad. Like I said, I was just in another meeting on this but i didn't they were showing this information i didn't take down a link so now i'm trying to find mm -hmm. it um 
So here I'll just cut and paste in the chat and I'll also cut and paste up the link to the whole thing. Um, so I don't I, I don't know how readable that is, but I'll just I'll also do the link to the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna copy paste this into notes. Oh yeah, that's right. They do the um <coughs> excuse me, water stress and some other stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll I PDF. mean, if it's not readable in the chat, just um, follow the the link and and search for water. Um, you'll find that same text, perhaps a little bit more readable. Yeah. Okay. So this is. I wouldn't say old, but this is in, oh, I guess, February of this year. Did they get a revision? Yeah, they just had a round of companies um, applying to have met the, the, um, the thresholds in all the different areas. So they published, here's how you do it. And then the companies, you know, that wanted to came back and and reported and if they passed the screen they you know are someplace on this website listed as having met the criteria for 2023 so they did at least go through a process and have you know it was quite a, it wasn't just like two or three companies that met it was i would say mul multiple dozen so um yeah Okay. No, this this is perfect. I mean, Rob, I don't think I'm gonna, gonna say that these should be any of the primary metrics, but maybe some of this could be put into the kind of that forward looking, you know, yeah, you know, new metrics. Um this would be some good stuff to at least put in there as to get people kind of, you know, chewing through in their brains on, you know, how this could be potentially done in yep. the future. And um yeah, and at a minimum, we can reference the, uh, you know, in the uh, in this document. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. No, this is uh, exactly what I was looking for. I appreciate it. Thank you, Deb. Deb, there was another paper specifically on WEE, yet WUE that they published. If you ever run across that, please send it over. Yeah, I I guess I could. I think actually, do you work for Google? I think do you, Priya, do you? Yes, I do. Yeah. I can give you the name of somebody in Google who uh -huh. knows this so much better than I do. Um, sure. So let me look up, look up his name, and you can just go directly to him. He would be sounds good. Your best source by a mile. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, so let me just take notes here. So I, I stopped sharing my screen since I think I was running short of bandwidth for some reason. Um, so shall we talk about nuclear, Rob? Oh, yeah, I don't think it'll be long. Yeah, I don't think it'll be long. It's funny. Uh, I just, you know, this is a little, uh, you know, separating timeline, marketing hype, and all that other stuff. Because you see these announcements of people, you know, being interested in SMRs, which is great. Um, and and uh, although it's not it's not classified specifically as renewable energy, right? It, it, uh, it is carbon carbon free or low carbon, let's say. Um, and um, 
but you know, when's it going to be a reality? I think they're for, they're doing the first testing, you know, now and stuff. By the time you might see these things, I mean, we're five. I don't know. I'd like to see what people think, but I feel like we're five plus years away from maybe seeing one of these things deployed uh, together with a with the data center. I'm a fan. I like them, but you know, mm -hmm. what's, what's the reality of the whole thing? Yeah, so there's, there's two classes, right? There's the micro reactors, which are below 20 megawatts electrical. Yeah. And then there's the um, SMRs, which are below 300 and above 20, oh, maybe 50 megawatts electrical. Yeah. The SMR timeline is a lot longer. It's probably about... 10 years, okay. I think 2028, 20, 2029 20, is when we probably see the first units, the first unit that's commercial coming online. Yeah. So that would be the first of a kind commercial unit, right? Um, with micro reactors, so the Department of Defense has funded uh, a project called Project Pele. Oh. And there's two companies that are funded through that. There's BWXT and there is X Energy. And they both have micro reactor offerings that are in the, we don't know exactly what it is because it's for the Department of Defense applications, but it's probably between zero and 10 megawatts electrical. Say up to, up to um, 20? 10. Oh, up to 10, okay. Up to 10 megawatts. Yeah, yeah. These are small, small reactors that the Department of Defense wanted to go in and provide uh, emergency long term power to a specific location or camp somewhere. They could just ship this tiny reactor to that facility and, you know, get it done. Yeah, yeah. So, um, UWXT, the latest I've seen, is that they are potentially uh, going to have something shipped to the DoD, the first unit, by the end of next year for demonstration as part of Project Pele. Interesting. So that's going to be interesting to see because that's got a shorter timeline than the SRS. And the technology, so these are Gen 4 reactors, the current reactors we have are Gen 3, Vogel, the Vogel unit that just came online, the AP1000 is Gen 3 plus. And then these new units are Gen 4 reactors. That means they use a different cooling system and they're intrinsically safe. Mm. So they shut down without requiring any additional power, water, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my understanding that even with these SMRs, it's still two to no two to four years for full project cycle. Is that oh. does that from a, I don't know if yeah. it's like, project cycle. Even for the micro reactors, yeah. Yeah, that from the, the, the from the minute you basically buy the yeah, land. I, I, uh, micro reactors. That there's there's still site work and, you know, transmission lines and all that, that I guess that has to be done. So it's faster, hopefully they're faster than, you know, Vogel, but not, you know, aeroderivative turbine being plopped on a pad and up to, you know, spinning up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Because, you know, especially if it's a new site, right. If it's an existing, site that's already mm -hmm. been qualified, environmental protections complete, uh, environmental assessments being complete, and um, it's been cleared for landing a nuclear plant, then that's good. But if, if all of that still needs to be done, then that could take a few years to get those approvals. Um, also, the other roadblock is, so, so, BWXT doesn't face this currently because they're doing work for the Department of Defense. They don't have to go through the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to get their licensing approved. Right. Uh, the DOE approves it. DOE. Mm -hmm. 
was it just Terra Power or that was basically planning on using highly or moderately high enriched Russian uranium? Yeah, um, that's the other challenge <laughs> is getting the uranium. Um, they're all using this new technology called trisofuels. You still need uranium for that, but uh, I think BWXT and X Energy are manufacturing their own fuels. Your fuels, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of information up there. There's uh, the IAEA, which is an International Atomic Energy Association, that has a lot of information on some of these new technologies that are out there and who's doing what throughout the world. Neat. All right. Well, this is good. You know a lot. I, I learned a lot. <laughs> well, I come from the nuclear industry. Oh, you do? Okay. I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, I I do too. There's a lot. Just, just Navy nuclear. And that was a long time ago. So I, I'm not. Good to Yeah. Yeah, I was in the commercial nuclear industry. Oh, okay. Before joining Google. Uh, power generation for 20 years before joining Google, yeah. Oh, holy cow. Wow, okay. Yep. Yeah. So so I know all the red tape associated <laughs> yeah. with things and the nuclear plant up and running. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I thought it was a little bit interesting that at least one of these articles kind of implied that like Microsoft was like going to be involved in the operation of the system, which I was, a, it, that was a very interesting take. Yeah. On that. Not like, you know, you know, X energy or someone is going to run it, you know, on a gated facility, you know, a quarter mile down the road. It was just like, okay, interesting. Microsoft is going to run a nuclear reactor. That was a, yeah. I'll put it as, it, it was an interesting read to have it phrased or framed in that context. Yeah, they, there could be a lot of speculation too, right? Just based on what people are seeing. Um, I saw an article the other day, but just based on a, on a LinkedIn post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. DCD had that article out there. Exactly, yeah. Like a... So I think I think we should just you know be aware of what's out there and the speculation surrounding the industry. Exactly. Well. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like, there's so much to it. It's very complicated. That's you know, I always say ideas ideas are easy, but uh, you know, doing it's hard. <laughs> I mean, the dominions and you know of the world are not the most exciting companies, but you know, there's a reason why. You know, as you guys know, you know. Nuclear power is circles and slashes with everything. <laughs> so as long as the people that know what they're doing are running these things, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Well, Thanks for entertaining entertaining my curiosity on that. I appreciate it. <laughs> so I put in a link with one of the uh, the articles that I'll send over. If you're interested in reading that, it's in, in the notes as well. Oh, great. That's a good question. Is okay. The, Any other topics? Sorry, is the Climate Neutral Data Center Pact, is this? a much more European organization? Yeah, I it believe is. so, right? 
Okay. I'm just, I'm, re I'm reading it through and everything with this metric is, um, you know, Eurostat, you know, European environmental yeah. agency. So it's a hundred percent EU. Okay. So, right? oh. so it's companies that have data centers in the EU trying to get ahead of regulation by holding themselves to certain thresholds and, you know, saying that they've passed the thresholds, but the regulation came plowing through anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, curious if I, you know, with some of these stress factors, is there going to be a river basin stress factor for, you know, North American locations or would some corollary um, organization have to be used for something yep. like that? Yep. Um, okay. That's just stuff that like, if we put this in the metrics, I think that's probably something that would have to be highlighted that like, here's a good idea. The framework is very solid, but some of the sub metrics may have to be tweaked for, you know, Asian, you know, Australian. Exactly. exactly. Um, which is perfectly fine. Um, but I'll, okay. I'll dig into this over the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think in general, the EU is a little bit ahead of some of the other countries with some of these sustainability metrics and evolution of sustainability metrics. So something we need to keep in mind within this group is what can we adopt or tweak, as you mentioned, John, to, to make it suitable for use within the U.S. data center framework and infrastructure and, and other countries for that matter. I know some of the ones like metrics like the water stress in I think the aware um organization, which which one's that? That that's global. So they have some of their metrics for everywhere in the world, not just one mm -hmm. location. Um, yeah. I'd be curious right. to see how the aware factors uh you know how they compare to the, the European river basin uh stress factors yeah i mean if they compare easily then that would be how that would make things interesting but it looks like it's a slightly different stress factor range so would have to probably really dig into the granularity to see if there could just be a you know linear multiplier or if it's yep. mm -hmm. something different but yep. that's the fun part right yep <laughs> i mean they're all ISO 14046 based, so they shouldn't be too different. Yeah, I mean, and that, that could be uh, even a potential future white paper topic, just because it would be of use to everybody to try to expand it. Yeah. You, you're right. And, and having something that translates the various metrics <laughs> and provides a consistent format, I think is really useful. We will create the Rosetta Stone of metrics. White paper. Yeah. Rev two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That, that that's it. That's essentially why I see this metrics team going is trying to consolidate what's out there and providing something that's cohesive, readable, understandable that people can directly use and apply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Good discussion. Any other topics? So I really like the idea of um, picking a topic and having an open discussion. Um, I think uh, if we advertise it as well, we may get more people joining these, these calls as well to get better representation. I haven't really focused on that before the summit because I know a lot of folks have been busy on prepping for the summit and attending conferences, et cetera, especially this month. Um, so once the summit's done, let's, uh, I'll set up a spreadsheet. Let's put topics down on the spreadsheet based on the dates. And if you have suggestions for invitations to folks to add, uh, add the email in there and I'll reach out to them or you could reach out to them and invite them to this meeting as well okay. okay some of these almost seem like they could be like mini panels almost yeah um, if, it, if there's a couple people for a similar topic um yeah. you know 
nothing majorly formal, but like, hey, two or three people are going to come and speak. They'll speak for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes and then questions after. Actually, that's a great idea. And we can even prep those questions so that they can come prepared. Um, so, yeah, let me set that spreadsheet up and then we can populate it with topics and then um, and, and questions and then send it out to folks and see who's interested. Perfect. Cool. Well, okay. Aaron, I'll Thank see you, you next week and I'll see the rest of everyone the week after. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Yep. Happy traveling, everybody. End of call. Bye. 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 Bye.